Hi everybody, this is Chris. I'm wearing my Take a Trip Through with Nature shirt. Take a Trip with Nature. I got that at Walmart. I had to buy it. Not that I had to buy it, I just had to buy stuff at Walmart because I'm poor. But anyway, um, I have some unknown media here. Unknown media, missing media. And I wanted to post this in hopes of someday, maybe somebody knows who these people are. Okay, here's the story. See, this is unknown media. Unknown Super 8 movies. Uh, back in 1974, which is when these uh, movies were made by a family, uh, we picked up our film. I believe it's going to be Caldor, uh, Tunxis Hill Plaza in Fairfield near the Bridgeport line. Or the photo mat, which was across the street at the Bradley's uh, Stop and Shop Plaza. Uh, and if you guys know where that is, then congratulations. It's probably something very fancy right now. And But back in those days, in the 70s, it was just um, a place where people could go to buy affordable, crappy things. Um, and that's where my family went. Um, so we were given the wrong film. And right here on the film, it says, wrong film, someone else, unknown, wrong film. Now, what would people do if they got the wrong film? Um, well, I guess you could try to take it back and see if you can get your own film. So somewhere out there, there are two rolls of film um, that are my family's film that probably somebody looked at and went, these aren't ours. And then they threw them out. Um, I we did not throw this out because uh, we're Clarks. We don't throw anything out. <laughs> you can see it around here. Yeah. Uh, and now, 50 years later, I still have them. So uh, it's really kind of touching some of the, this first film. It's um, a girl who was born in October of 1974. And there's a little, you know, she's holding up a little uh, cardboard sign there. And I can't really read it. Um, but if someone sees it, they could probably do some research and figure out who this is. Um, the, the, the it's a big baby. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry. And you know, maybe you turned out to be normal. Maybe you grew into your head. But your head is pretty big on this, um, on this film here. So I, I, I apologize. But just don't be shocked when you see a big baby with a big head. Um, and then the sister, the little cute sister. She's wearing a little Casper. It's around Halloween, October of '74. Uh, she's wearing a little Halloween thing. The next film on here is a basketball game. Uh, I don't know if it's Monroe, Connecticut. It might be. It's going to be somewhere in that area. You know, Bridgeport, Fairfield, Monroe, Easton. I don't know. It's going to be um, Norwalk or I don't know, whatever. I, I, um, so it might be in that area there. And I would love to be able to return these original um, copies to the family if possible i don't know it's just one of those things but it's neat um that it's a, been uh lost for this long i don't know why you know my father and mother were like man that's not i want to throw this away i think maybe they didn't want to go to the photo mat and be like dude where's where's our movies you know because obviously they'd be gone forever um but not these these are still here thanks to the hoarding nature of the clark ive so the clark ive once again is putting this out into the uh, universe or the youtube verse youtube verse is that a thing i think i just invented it um so i want you to look at this if you know these people in the connecticut area um it would be neat to be able to um have them see this and to even bring back the original uh, films to them to have because uh, these moments are precious and that's why I love this kind of stuff so uh, let me know what you think um, you don't have to write anything in the comment section because I don't really care about that so you can write me a letter with a pen and paper like this like this is a piece of paper and you can like write stuff on it and like put it in the mail and then like send it to me. Well, or you can just put in the comments, like, I don't know, I don't know, whatever.